So in a person's formative years, that's what drives their morality. Do you ever think about these kinds of things? Like about the formative years? About like the, uh, the nature of, of the human mind. Mm -hmm. You explain something to me, like how I just said something to you. I don't know, we had to come to a topic, or we came to a topic of... Anything, anything, like just go off on a tangent. I don't know, I need something to start the tangent. Um, what, what is the differentiating factor between things that are alive and not alive? What the fuck, Abraz? What? That's a good place to start, right? No. Why not? I don't know. So, you know, flail around and think about it. Like, you know, play devil's advocate. Think about it. Think about it. Where's the devil's at? I right, hold on. You, you know how you play devil's advocate in this? During an abortion hearing. Yeah, yeah. I never think about it in, in terms of abortion, but every time I ask anyone that question, they always think about it in terms of abortion. I'm thinking about where is the differentiation between the moss and the rock? How can you differentiate between those two and say one is alive and the other one isn't? That's where I like to think about. But everybody that asks it to, they, their mind immediately goes to abortion. Don't they, don't all living things like breathe in oxygen or water or some shit? Are you talking about the scientific definition? It's all living organisms. All, everything alive of us has feelings. The scientific definition is they reproduce, they grow, and they respond to stimuli. And there might be two or three more, but it's very basic things. Well, that's not true because... There are non-living things that grow and respond to stimuli. And what was the other one? Reproduce? Yeah, Reproduce. They don't do that. Stars. There you go. Stars, they explode, and in the stellar nebula that they leave behind, the gas forms clumps together and forms more stars. There you the go. baby stars come from the dead parent stars. So they reproduce, 